let's jump into some of the new features in 3.1 around Pi. So what I'm going to do in this demo is I have a reactor database that has a plant and some lines in it. And the first thing I want to do is I want to go get all the Pi points kind of in this branch and, and then read the current values. So what I'm going to do is I already have a Pi connection you know, connected out to our agent. I'm going to hit Browse, go to the Reactors demo, and pull in the entire plan. Now this first read is a query of the, the current state of the plant, so all the values. And I could do an historical read, an interpolated read, etc. Uh, but the new feature that I want to use is called Asset Metadata. So when I read this, what it brings back is the identifiers and information for that whole tree, right? So these are the, there's an attribute here called average quality, and here's the pie point that relates to it, and so forth and so on, kind of through this list. Now with this list, what I can do is I can I can sort through that list of this object and grab all the pie points. So let me save this. And to do that, I'm going to go create a, a custom condition. And I've already done this in advance, but in this condition, I pull in the pie point read, and then I run it through this filter, which is going through and looking for all the unique point names. And when you read this, what it does is return those point names as an array of uh, points. So pretty cool. So these are all the pie points that are referenced in this part of the tree. So if stuff gets added, uh, that would get added as well. All right, so with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go drive a pie point read. So I'm going to go create a new input. I'm going to call it raw points, and I'll make this just a point input. And instead of uh, directly referencing the points, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, to that condition and pull in the array. Oops. I'm going to use a reference. And what this does, once I create this, is it's coming through and going and querying all the pie points. So it's taking the pie points from AF and coming through and querying the current value. And again, I could do you know, interpolated, raw wrap values, etc. But I can use this to kind of drive my point reads. The last thing I want to show you is a new point, uh, new input type called point changes. I'll just call this point changes. And I'm going to set it up the same way. And what this is going to do is it's going to go and subscribe to those points and um, let us know about any changes. And this is just a subscription ID that, that uh, I can reuse if I reconnect. But the first read of this, it's going to go subscribe to all the points in that list which I've already done. So the first read usually returns empty, but in this case, there's there's data in there. And subsequent reads are going to return so there's nothing changed. Whatever has changed between the, the time of the last read. So in this case, we're just adding data. So these are all the new point values that were added during that time. If data was deleted or arrived late or changed, it would show up as updated, uh, deleted tag, and you would see all the points that changed. So you can subscribe to this and uh, modify your data set if you have late arriving or changed data coming into Pi.